close your eyes and watch your breath. Focus all your attention on the breath coming in, coming out. Notice where you feel it in the body. It may be in areas where you hadn't expected it. I try to develop an all-body awareness, full-body awareness, so that when you breathe in you know if the shoulders are being engaged or the back is being engaged or where you feel the energy flow in the body. I try to maintain your attention right there. This way you give yourself a grounding in the present moment. Because the present moment is an important place to be. It's where the mind is making its decisions. And all too often those decisions are subconscious. We don't really know what we're doing. It's as if we're the owners of a factory and we're up in the president's office, the chairman's office. But the real workers are down there on the floor, making all the decisions about what goes out, what comes in, what gets done, what doesn't get done. And if you don't go down and check up on the workers every now and then, they're just going to do what they want. A lot of times the workers in the mine are very lazy, and they'll put up smoke screens. In other words, there's something you know is unskillful, and they'll tell you, oh, I'm not going to go there. And they wait until you're not really paying attention, and that's precisely where they're going to go. So the workers in the mind have to be surveyed at all times. And you do this by being aware of the mom moment right now, right now, right now, and being fully aware of the body right now. When you have a full body awareness, it also helps to develop a full mind awareness. As the breath becomes more comfortable, you can settle in. Things begin to open up inside. The walls that were put up in the mind begin to fall down. The smoke screen begins to clear. You can see things a lot more clearly, and then you can make better decisions. Because after all, our, our decisions, our choices, are what shape our lives. We tend to think about influences coming in from outside. Well, those influences wouldn't come in from outside if we hadn't already done something. As the Buddha said, everything comes from our, our desires. Our desires then lead to actions. And then our actions lead to results. And we don't get the results we desire because our, our desires are ignorant. And we're ignorant of our desires. So trying to develop some more knowledge around what's going on in the present moment what choices the mind is making. And the breath gives you a good place to stay as you do that, so you can watch with a sense of well-being. You can see things a lot more clearly and make better decisions because you're coming from a position of well-being and strength. This way your factory creates good things. Other people can enjoy the good things your factory creates, and you yourself can be proud of the, the quality of the workmanship. It's in this way that the meditation spreads its benefits all around.